Welcome to this brief Infineera training module that will guide you through an overview of the Groove G30 applications. In a simple Groove G30 network solution, we supply a basic point to point connection which includes the MUX bonding of multiple client signals onto a single line side fibre. This solution will include multiplexing, encapsulation, encryption, and channelization allowing service providers to utilize 200 gigabits per second on 96 channels on the line side. The Groove G30 applies the principle of disaggregation, the concept of being able to integrate network elements from other vendors. To facilitate this, we describe the two core parts of the solution as MUX bonders and line systems. Put simply, our MUX bonder solution is the parts of the solution used to encapsulate, encrypt, multiplex and channelize the client signals. The line system is everything that touches the span, including the modules used to multiplex multiple channels together. Our line system is actually an open line system known as OLS. This means you can connect the output of MUX bonders from other vendors. This is important for service providers who already have some MUX bonders from another vendor but want to upgrade their line system. Because the Groove G30 offers an open line system, the service provider can continue to make use of the MUX bonders from the other vendor. The Infineera open line system has been designed to be extremely flexible and scalable. First of all, we have pluggable amplifier module options for extending the span. On spans with longer distances, you can place an amplifier just before the receiving end of the line. When an amplifier is placed on the receiving line, we call it a pre-amplifier. This amplifies the receiving signal so that it is strong enough to be passed to the MUX bonders. Alternatively, you can use an amplifier as a booster. This is where the amplifier is connected to the transmit fiber so the signal is amplified before it is passed onto the line. Finally, you use the amplifier midspan, what many service providers call a repeater. The location of the amplifier depends on span range, fiber quality, and where repeater sites can be located. You should be clear that amplifiers, whether configured as a preamplifier, a booster, or a repeater, is part of the open line system. As part of the open line system, the Groove G30 also offers an in span monitoring option so that the power levels on each channel can be remotely accessed. The optical supervisory channel is an additional wavelength that is adapted to carry information about the network and may be used for management purposes. The OSC is carried on a different wavelength than wavelengths carrying actual data traffic and is an out of band channel. This is an option that can be integrated into our pre amplifier option. As part of our open line system, we also offer an optical time domain reflectometer option known as an OTDR. This is used in optical networks to identify the location of faults and defects on the line side fiber. The optical line system also offers an optical switch module. This simply splits the optical power of the transmitted signal and sends 50% on one fiber and 50% on the other fiber. This is used for one plus one protection, which we will explain in more detail on the O2OPS learning module. The final option with our open line system is the WSS RODEM, standing for Wavelength Selective Switch Reconfigurable Optical Ad Drop Multiplexer. Put simply, this module is placed mid span and can be used to separate individual channels. In this example, you can see the RODEM is sending some channels to the local OMD and the other channels are sent onwards on the line fiber to the next OMD. 
By now you should understand that the OLS is designed for anything that touches the line system. You should understand a service provider may already have MUX bonders from other vendors and simply want to update the line system. You should also know our OLS allows service providers to utilize up to 200 gigabits per second on 96 channels with the lowest form factor and power requirements available in the market today. The OLS includes pluggable optical data modules such as amplifiers, optical supervisory channel, optical time domain reflectometer and wavelength selective switch reconfigurable optical ad drop multiplexer. Now let's go back to our basic network and look simply at the MUX bonder element. It is possible that a service provider already has their own line system that they are happy with, but need to replace the MUX bonders only. This could be for a myriad of reasons, including reducing their use of space, power, or to better exploit the higher per channel capacity offered by the Groove G30. In practice, many service providers will already have some older DWDM hardware that they want to replace but still make use of part of their solution that still works. In this example, the service providers have some MUX bonders from two different vendors that they are still using, but have decided to replace the line system. With Infineera's open line system, they can still use the older MUX bonders while utilizing our latest MUX bonders on any unused channels. Alternatively, a service provider may have an existing line system using old MUX bonders that may require more power and space than the Groove G30 MUX bonders and have less capacity per channel or perhaps no encryption options. In this scenario, they could simply replace individual MUX bonders as they phase out their old solution. By now you should understand that the complete Groove G30 solution can be offered as two separate applications, MUX Sponders and the Open Line system. You should appreciate the MUX Sponder applications include multiplexing, encryption, encapsulation and channelization. You should also recall that the Open Line system, known as OLS, is part of the solution that connects to the line side fibre. This includes the optical DWDM multiplexers and everything in between such as amplifiers and rodems. Finally, you should remember that the service providers can also use our applications in hybrid networks, where they use an Infineera open line system with a combination of MUX bonders from Infineera and from other vendors. Well done on completing this training module. It will be marked as completed and continue to be available to you on the learning management system.